How's it going y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very special episode to share with y'all. Um, today's video we're going to be doing a walkthrough of my brand new native watercraft Slayer Max Propel 12.5. That name is a mouthful but this is an awesome boat. Super, super excited about it. Super proud to own this thing. Y'all stay tuned, and we're about to do a full walk around on it. You know, this is not to show off in any way. This is just to show y'all what I'm going to be fishing out of from now on. I still have my Ascend. Um, I just, I frankly, I just wanted to upgrade. I was tired of getting whooped by the wind and not being able to fish very efficiently with trying to paddle and position myself for a cast. So I saved up and I pulled the trigger and bought this thing. Um... Now, for those of you that do know, and for those that don't, I live in central Alabama, um, Dallas County, Alabama, to be exact. And there's not very many places around me that sell kayaks, or quality kayaks, that is. Um, but these guys right here, Coosa River Adventures, specifically Chris from Coosa River Adventures, hooked me up big time with this thing um saw their advertisement about it online and happened to be in the market for one at the time saw his advertisement he was advertising a pretty good deal so i came and seen him one day after work he let me get in it put me in the boat ramp at the coosa river put me in the water in the boat i paddled around in it for about an hour instantly knew i had to have the boat bought it and brought it home that day um, I have already been fishing on this boat uh, about two or three times now. Um, those videos are going to be coming after this. I wanted to film this video and post it first so y'all wasn't wondering what was going on and what I was fishing on. I wanted to go ahead and walk through and let y'all see it. And so that's enough talking. Let's do it. All right. So as the name implies, this is a 12 and a half foot long boat. And also I should say this is the... 2021 model this isn't the newest model so it doesn't have the spring blade the spring blade rudder but it is the 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 max so it's not the old version but it's not the newest version either it's the the 2021 model so it's got all the all the little small quirky problems fixed that the new models have it's got the nice all right i'll talk about that when we get into it all right 12 foot 6 inches long the width is 34 inches at the widest part the whole weight just by itself is 95 pounds fully rigged with the seat and the drive and everything is 125 pounds um and the weight capacity on this thing is a whopping 500 pounds so you're not going to overload this dude that's for sure I went with the this is this color is called gator green I'm absolutely in love with it I think it's one of the better looking kayaks on the market so all right let's get into the walk around so first off obviously you got a great big carrying handle on the front of this boat um that thing is solid it's got track in there as well you can mount it I don't know if you got to cut that little rubber handle off or what two screws right there i'm not 100 percent sure what those are for i'm sure it's just pre-drill for mounting rod tip protectors a lot of people ask me what these are my buddies have asked me what these are these are rod tip protectors so if you want to lay rods right here stick the tips up in there so they're protected and can't crush them on top of this hatch again track all the way down both sides Got a nice bungee system with a little clip. Oh. And there is a handle right here on this. Um, like a little rubber handle, but I have took mine off because I'm actually fabbing up something at work, a little aluminum deal that I plan to put right here that I'm actually gonna mount a camera on for a rear facing view, kind of similar to this. But should have a handle right here. These latches, um, 
I love them and hate them at the same time. Sometimes they're a pain in the butt, but the concept of them is really sweet. So open up the hatch. Yeah, see, like I said, I've already been fishing. Got some stuff in there. Got a great big compartment right here in the front with a removable lid that gives you, oh, I got my tripod in there, the camera. But that gives you access down into the hole. And then right here, this is your battery box. Remove those screws, and that's for putting your transducer down there. Got some scupper plugs in there. Yeah. All right, now we'll just move on back to probably one of the one of my favorite features on this kayak, and that being the Propel pedal drive. This thing is amazing. This is my first ever pedal drive kayak. And now that I've been in this one, I will never own another strictly paddle kayak. I say that, I may, but I don't plan on it. This thing is awesome. Um, don't ever plan on going back to paddling. It is it's smooth, it's quiet, it's fast, it's efficient. It, don't take, it does not take much effort at all to paddle at a, at a consistently decent speed. And like I said, it don't wear you down. It is, it is amazing. Low maintenance as well. Um, and I haven't had it long enough to really to really find out. But from what I hear other people say, the thing is pretty strong and sturdy. So the, the Propel Drive is uh, mounted or anchored to the kayak the same way with these little clip deals. Like I said, love them. Sometimes I hate them. You lift this deal up right here with these bungees and then obviously let's see if i can do this good thing i got a tripod huh all right so lift that up and then basically drops down into the water obviously you got to have it lined up drops down into the water you put this back over it you don't have to but you keep water out like that put that back over it and then you can latch it in if you want but i never latch mine in because when it's not latched in right here that lets it serve as almost like a kick up feature if you latch it and hit something running at full speed it's going to be a hard impact versus if you leave it unlatched and you hit something this thing will kick up because like i said this cover is on a bungee and it'll it'll pick up with those bungees and you won't bust any of this hopefully um all right moving on back scupper plugs right here nothing crazy about that i got them out right now um sometimes i have them out when i fish sometimes i have them in just depends on how loaded out i am how much stuff i have on my boat and how cold the water temp and air temp is got some nice little i believe that's eva foam mat it's just like sea deck like what people put in boats pretty cool that it came with that from the factory Got some squirrels playing in the woods right here behind us. Again, track all the way down both sides back here behind the seat. And these are these are paddle clips, or really they could be any kind of clips, because these are little spots for tackle boxes on both sides, and that is amazing. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll talk about that now. These both of these is just I mean they're stores for whatever you want it to be, but they fit 3600 size Plano boxes perfectly. This is a just a rod holder mount that's aftermarket. That came from Academy for like 20 bucks, pretty cheap. Same thing on the other side with the rail system and the bungees for holding. I, I put my paddle right there most of the time. Actually, I keep my paddle in the back. I don't paddle much. And this is just a, a drill through plate for mounting a fish finder or whatever, doing any type of wiring. Drill through that plate and mount your stuff instead of drilling through your kayak. So under the seat, I do not have the under the seat storage in this thing because I throw my big camera box with all my camera gear under there and it is nasty under there right now. I've had this thing outside like a dummy since last time I used it and it's nasty in there. Um, yeah, this is awesome. You got storage for a box or anything right here. Back behind you, you can fit an entire 3,700 box right here. You can fit four 3,700 boxes under the seat you got two different positions for the seat they just 
screw in like that bolt don't go nowhere unscrew it you know you can move it whatever seat lays all the way back which is really cool so during transport you don't have to take the seat out if you don't want to um normally that's what i do i just lay the seat down just like that and then go that, that thing ain't going anywhere got a forward facing rod holder right here on this side that is on the right side that is amazing for unhooking fish or you break off and need to retie that's really convenient got a cup holder right there with a little drain it's actually a pretty pretty decent little system i'll move over here to this side and inside the platform that the seat sits on right here you got a cool little combo storage deal for pliers um really whatever you want to put right here a scale plier scissors knife again carrying handles on both sides right here same as the front track system all the way back both sides nice heavy duty handles before we get too much further need to talk about this handle so this is obviously not the stock native watercraft handle i was very unimpressed with the handle that came on this boat i'll say that is the only thing that I didn't like about the boat out of the door is that handle. Um, just whenever you're turning, you can feel the handle flex and you can just tell that thing was not made very well. So I replaced it with the aluminum Burley Pro handle. Um, this thing is awesome, a lot smoother, you know, and I mean, that, that thing is sturdy, obviously. It's machined aluminum. It, that thing will be here longer than I will. And this whole seat platform is removable too. It screws in and out the same way the seat does. These little knobs right here. And then back in the back, great big open area. This was one of the selling points on this kayak for me. I loved how big and open this is back here because I'm a black pack guy. I have a the Yak Attack 16 by 16 black pack. It fits back here along with room for a cooler or a bait well or whatever else back behind it which is unmatched to me love the storage options on this thing you got rear facing rod holders on both sides i mentioned the tracks go all the way back and these are just a, another type of paddle clip right here um you know nothing special about that just a little bungee you could use it for rods too if you'd like but that's what that's what i do for my paddles and then right here is another paddle storage. Those are called taco clips. I don't use those, to be honest. I'm not really sure why they're on the boat, but it's cool that they are on there with these being here. I mean, not really sure. Oh, also, these move back and forth on the track. You just tighten and loosen these little screws on each side. You can move it back. All the bungees as well, front and back, move. There's just a little Phillip, Phillip head screw. Just loosen up that guy a few turns. You can slide those back and forth. But bungee system, the same back here. Nothing special about it. Got a little clip on there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy to do one-handed, boom, no problem. This is your little rudder control deal. The rudder's under here on the bottom side of the kayak. Um, nothing really too fancy here. See, you got lines that go in both sides run up the kayak to that handle and that's how you turn um <laughs> now right here this is a little dry storage area back here in the back i honestly i've never used it don't know how dry it is it actually seems to be fairly dry um there's no water in there at all actually that is good to know and then in the back right here double handle carrying system again the the handles on this kayak are some of my favorite handles i've ever had on a kayak you know i haven't owned them all i've only owned three a sun dolphin a uh, sand and this one but this one is definitely i mean night and day it's it's no comparing these are awesome track system all the way across as well with a cutout right here for entry obviously and then right here in the back we have another set of screws that are just there's um there's brass um t 
tapped inserts in there for screwing whatever you want to down trolling motor mount i'm sure um power pole micro you know any shallow water anchor whatever you want to do back here the options on this boat as a whole are endless um just an extremely customizable boat it comes from the factory with i mean just loaded out with options this thing right here is the denali of the kayak world i mean it is awesome this seat is incredibly comfortable um i've had two trips on this kayak already six plus hour days no back problem lower back problem no butt bone problems hurting nothing like that this thing is amazingly comfortable way more comfortable than my ascend and i'm not even going to mention the sun dolphin all right i've got it turned up on its side just so y'all can kind of see the way the bottom of this thing is made there's the propel drive all the way down on the ground but that's the rudder um it's a fixed rudder system the rudder doesn't go up on top of the boat it stays down right there and then you're just able to steer it back and forth and right here this is the bottom of the transducer mount inside of the front hatch right here that i was telling you about that's where you just drop a transducer in for mounting pretty cool that it comes with that feature and i'll go ahead and pull this out and this is the kayak bare bones actually i guess i should pull the propel drive in order to call it bare bones we'll put the hatch back on him all right now that is the kayak bare bones this thing is a little bit heavy to maneuver around but once you get on the water with it you really appreciate this kayak size um i haven't been on all the nicest kayaks in the world but whenever i went to demo this one i demoed several other big box brand kayak. but out of all those brands of boats that i demoed this one was my favorite and impressed me the most out of all of them and i think this kayak right here is one of if not the best fishing kayak on the market currently this this thing is awesome if you're in the market for one and on the fence about it or you know kind of hesitant i'd I'll, I'll tell you right now just get it you will not regret it one bit gonna do it for today's video y'all short and sweet to the point like i said just wanted to show y'all my new boat so y'all would know what to expect coming <laughs> appreciate y'all watching hope y'all like the video i sure do i sure do love my new kayak y'all stay tuned for the next video got it coming soon it's exciting first trip on the new kayak y'all stay tuned check it out we'll see y'all next time